and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. PIA investors shun Nigeria's gas market over gas pricing. NMPC set to emerge largest most capitalized company in Africa. States kick as NMPC continues deduction from Federation accounts. Now the news in details. The federal government's desire to attract about $48 billion of a projected $194 billion oil and gas investment in Africa may have suffered a huge setback with investors opting for other business-friendly destinations. The development may have been orchestrated by its lack of clarity in gas pricing, licensing requirements and domestic gas delivery obligations, among others contained in the recently signed Petroleum Industry Act PIA. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company NMPC had in 2019 projected that the country would attract about $48.4 billion or 24.8% of an estimated $194 billion total oil and gas investment coming to Africa over the next seven years. Its closest rival in the continent, Angola, would take 11.3% of the total expected spend, while emerging jurisdiction, Mozambique, will have as much as 23.8% of that. The NNPC also stated that within this investment window, the country would have 20 out of the 93 projects funded across the continent's oil and gas industry. Prior to the signing of the PIA, gas investors had complained about the earlier listed challenges, a development that led to many gas fields undeveloped across the country. Curiously, industry observers are, however, disappointed that the hitherto challenges, which had caused a huge setback to the gas sector, were not addressed in the PIA. The General Managing Director, Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, Mele Kiyari, at the weekend said with implementation of the Petroleum Industry Act, PIA, the company would emerge the most capitalized in the entire Africa. Also, he said, as a result of the new legislation, NMPC Limited would not only shed some of its toxic liabilities, but would potentially become the most profitable on the entire continent. He spoke while addressing and staff at a town hall meeting held at the NMPC towers in Abuja. According to him, the new legislation has been tipped to provide business opportunities that will enable the NMPC earn more revenue for the country. There are strong indications that state and federal governments are again on a collision course over continuous deductions from Federation accounts. The Federation Accounts Allocation Committee holds its first meeting in 2022 on Wednesday. State officials who spoke to our NMPC correspondent on Sunday faulted the NMPC Limited's continued deduction from FAAC funds to finance full subsidy, saying the issue would come up at the meeting. The NMPC had in its reports to FAAC in December 2021 stated that it would deduct some funds as value shortfall incurred by the oil firm in January 2022. The company said it would deduct 270.83 billion naira from what would be shared by the three tiers of government during the FAAC meeting in January. Oil production in Libya has increased to 1.2 million barrels per day. 
an official of the country's national corporation NOC who made the disclosure during the week said oil production has increased from 1 million and 45,000 barrels per day. The statement revealed that it achieved the record during the months of November and December, generating $4 billion income. Norway's exports surged to a record high last year, boosted by higher demand for fossil fuels, fish and metals. Western Europe's largest oil and gas exporter sold 1.38 trillion kroner worth of goods abroad in 2021, a 77% increase that led to a full-year trade surplus of 531 billion kroner, also the highest ever, Statistics Norway said in a website statement on Monday. Higher fossil fuels prices are cementing the case for the central bank, one of the most hawkish in the developed world, to move ahead with a string of planned interest rate hikes despite the effect of the new coronavirus-related restrictions. Gas exports hit another monthly record in December, rising 31% from the previous month. Oil revenues from abroad totaled 349.6 billion kroner, the highest level since 2008. Mainland exports surged 22% last year to another all-time high, led by oil products, electricity and metals, Fish export led by salmon also hit a record in December and the full year. Nigeria's total debt stock rose from 32.9 trillion naira as of December 2020 to 39.6 trillion naira in November 2021. Value chain can review. The Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, in her presentation of the 2022 approved budget, disclosed that the government borrowed 6.7 trillion naira between January and November 2021, according to a copy of the presentation obtained by our correspondent. The new borrowing in the period under review consists of 5.1 trillion naira domestic debt and 1.6 trillion naira. The domestic debt, however, includes borrowing from the Central Bank of Nigeria, according to the presentation document. In March 2021, the Debt Management Office had disclosed that the country's total public debt stock was 32.9 trillion naira as of December 2020. An additional 6.7 trillion naira loan means the total public debt stock will be about 39.6 trillion naira as of November 2021. The DMO had disclosed that the country's total public debt increased to 33.1 trillion naira as at the end of the first quarter of 2021 from 32.9 trillion naira in December 2020, showing an increase of about 200 billion. In the second quarter of 2021, the total debt stock rose by 2.4 trillion naira to 35.5 trillion naira by June 2021. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. PIA investors shun Nigeria's gas market over gas pricing. NNPC serves to emerge largest, most capitalized company in Africa. It's kick as NNPC continues deductions from Federation accounts. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. 
गुड इवनिंग